Okay, we're here for another uh, Adobe Fresco learning tutorial using their uh, learning tab on the app. We're going to look at introduction to masking today. Masking is essentially putting a uh, protection over parts of an image that you don't want touched and this is going to be really helpful uh, for creating really cool textures and uh, cleaning up making sure that your works are clean so uh, layer masks help show and hide parts of your artwork without erasing each mask is attached to a layer and can be edited at each time or at any time. So your, um, your mask are gonna be a layer mask that will attach onto that layer. So we're gonna see how that works. So pick a brush to start drawing, okay. Use your lasso tool to make a selection around a part of your artwork. You will use the selection to create a mask of that shape. So. Um, I've got a new layer. I'm just going to do like another leaf. Now we create a mask. Select mask. So at the bottom down at the, uh, the menu that pops up whenever you select an area select mask to create your layer mask and now this big red thing will show up all the way outside of where I selected and that is the um, that is protected from any marks that I make with my brush or any erasers anything that I'm doing um, on my artwork everything's gonna stay protected within this little section okay so layer masks are indicated by this black half circle. Your mask will mask the layer it is linked to with the shape of your selection. We can edit our mask with the brush tool. Um, and depending on what is selected at the bottom, hide or reveal, you can use the brush tool to expand your mask or bring it in a little bit. Swipe to view edits. Swipe between the layer and the layer mask to view your edits. Strokes on your canvas will appear in areas covered by or not covered by your mask. So this is when you're in the mask view, this is where you're editing your mask. But when you swipe over, and this is where you can color and every all your marks will stay within the mask. Okay, I'm, I drew a new mask, but uh, I'm going to select reveal to reveal part of my image because uh, I wanted at the bottom maybe a little bit more of a textured edge to the mask rather than just a hard edge. And then if I want to hide part of the image so I want to change a shape at the top that's where we can do that as long as we have the pixel brush selected and whenever we switch back over to our original image this is when we can go in with our brush. So let's just make it super big, right? We'll just make it. And then once I, I can just scribble here and look at that. So I just scribbled everywhere and it stayed within the mask that I created. Now that's a little bit harsh for what I wanted with um, the rest of this because this is a watercolor.
So we want to keep our layer mask there because if we were to delete our layer mask, this is actually where the brush went. So that's why using the layer mask is really, really handy to keep everything contained. All right, that is how you use masking in Adobe Fresco. It's not always necessary to mask, but it can be really handy.